Welcome back to Man vs. Meeple, the show where we talk about all things board game related. Today I'm flying solo, but I wanted to do so because I wanted to showcase a game that is just coming out for Kickstarter backers in the next couple months. It is called Too Many Bones from Chip Theory Games, and it is a game that I've been looking forward to very much since I got to briefly play it at Gen Con 2016. This is a cooperative dice-building role-playing game in which each player takes on the role of these little gnome-like creatures called Gearlocks. And I gotta say, when we received this in the mail the other day, I was floored. I had no idea that this game was going to look this good. Now, I have some experience with some of Chip Theory Games' previous games, most uh, notably Haplomachus, which is what they're known for, uh, these heavy-style poker chips that have a real high-gloss finish on them for the characters that are being used. Now, they've reused some of those ideas here, but they've also incorporated these awesome, awesome dice that have a ton of unique faces to them. And what's really cool about this, these dice is that they are very similar to the dice used in Star Wars Destiny, where they're not engraved, they're not stickered, but they're actually heat impressed onto the dice themselves. And they look spectacular. I mean, you guys have to take a look at these pictures. They look fantastic. And they also come with cases in which hold the dice so they're easy to transport from one place to the next. You can buy separately a variety of different expansion characters. You have Nugget, Tink, and Gilly. And they all look Fantastic. They all come with their own recessed player mats, which the dice will, uh, which will hold the dice and use, uh, enable the characters to use their skill trees. Um, and they all come with their own themed dice and their own little carrying cases. It is a, like I said, it is a RPG style game. Uh, in which you are progressing along a story-driven task and you're unlocking new skills and stat dice, all the while allowing you to kind of craft powerful dice combos and tactics along the way. You're going to be using your dice to do abilities and to battle creatures that come uh, onto the player mat. Looks absolutely spectacular. And it's not just the dice, and it's not just these recessed player mats, but there's also these cards. I had These cards are really, really cool. They almost feel like a plastic material, but they have a smooth front and a real rough back to them. They're kind of hard to get a picture of because they reflect light in a very, very strange way. But they feel awesome in your hands. Um, I wanted to get this up because I know there's a very limited quantity of these uh, games left uh, after the Kickstarter. I would advise you guys, if you guys are at all interested, I'm super interested because this reminds me a lot of the similarities between this and Gloomhaven, uh, only in the fact that you are playing a cooperative dungeon crawler, and it, it's a big box. I mean, this looks gigantic, and it has a lot of different adventures in here, a lot of different tyrants that you're going to be fighting. Uh, I cannot wait to get this to the table. I read through the rules last night. They seem pretty intuitive. And uh, w as soon as we get done playing this multiple times, we'll bring you guys a review so you guys can have an idea if it's something that you guys want to get as well. Uh, if it at all interests you, go pre-purchase it from Chip Theory Games. This box is huge. I had no idea it was this big. So excited. Wanted you guys to see it. Thanks for watching, guys. Make sure you guys subscribe to our YouTube channel. Follow us on Twitter, like us on Facebook, and everything else that we do here at Man vs. Meeple. And I hope you guys enjoyed this unboxing of Too Many Bones. Thanks. Bye-bye.